Hello, this is Palico Page, and welcome back to yes, another episode of Curious Expedition 2. All the DLC playthrough. We have just completed 1892 on uh, uh, a high, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. Uh, we, um, we found the explorer. We found his treasure. We found lots of treasure on top of that. And we've upgraded a couple of things. The group is strong. There are no ailments associated with anyone. The only thing left for us to do is crack on, really. So let's do that, shall we? Oh, look. It wants us to go to the normal, pathetic, puny, regular, boring islands. No, 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 no. We've just done Highlands. We're going back to Celestial Shores. We're trying to hit these as much as we can in order to be exposed to as much of the DLC as we can. That's what this is all about. So let's do it, shall we? Hello again. And Lux Labs, of course, of course. I decided to indulge in a few drinks the night before the expedition was to depart. I was enjoying a pleasant evening in the tavern when I noticed a rather large gentleman cheering. He held his hand up victorious. Lee. The man had just won an arm wrestling contest and was searching for his next opponent. After a moment, his eyes met mine. I uh, love at first sight. Making his way to my table, the large fellow called me out, as they say. He was willing to put down money that I could not beat him in an arm wrestling match. That's a lot of red. That is a lot of red. Let's do it. Have it! After a fierce struggle, I slammed his hand to the table with a mighty thud. Furiously, he flung my winnings on the table and stormed from the room. The bard loudly cheered my success, and I was bought one drink after another until I unsteadily made my way to my ship early the next morning. Bon voyage, friend. That's how you do that. See, cockiness gets you nowhere. Modesty is the way. Surprise people. All mouth, no trousers. That's that's the, the the phrase I'm thinking of right now. All mouth or no arms, I suppose. No 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 arm muscles. Taking into consideration I'm a robot, so he didn't have a chance anyway. I'll just lock my elbow into position. Quite literally. Uh but hey ho, never mind. My ship arrived encountering a small supply vessel. I was grateful to Lux Labs for providing me with funds and equipment. Don't forget about the map this time, Padge. Right, so <clears throat> Wow, a lot of money. A lot a lot of money. Well, we're always going to buy sanity stuff first. So, well, lemonade, granola, whiskey, uh, two medikits, a torch, uh, vulnerability, I'll have to throw something back, which is fine. I don't mind doing that. Minus 15. There we go. All's well that ends well, I think. Maybe. Possibly. I think we're good. We'll see. We'll see. My provisions chosen, I considered if there was yet more to be done before I landed on the island. Uh, no. Don't think we need any water. So, let's go. Legend spoke of a golden pyramid on this island that had been proven impenetrable. Its gates were locked by some mysterious mechanism that none could open. I hunger to explore this sealed pyramid, but first I need to figure out how to unlock its gates. Alright. Sounds interesting. Oh, we got Juby straight away. Hello, Juby. What you got for me? The truffle hog dug something up. An obsidian shard. I'll take that. I will take that. So. What the hell's that? Steam pipe. What's going on around here then? Uh... Oh, it's a bathhouse, you know. Upon approaching the structure, an islander welcomed me to their establishment. He offered me a stay at their glorious bathhouse with complimentary towels. That does sound very, very restful. I mean, I'm not really in a position to want to rest right now. Delighted to see my wares, the receptionist pulled out a small book along with a list of what they had to offer. Wow. $100 
100 170 Hmm. That's annoying. I mean, we've got 130, 140. If I got rid of the meteorites, that would be 170. It would also free up some space. 14. I think it's worth offsetting it, you know. That works for me. Amble steel. After writing a detailed summary of our trade, the islanders shut my hand. He put away the paperwork and asked me what else I could be helped with. Your goods for free. Uh, maybe. We'll give it a go. <laughs> Only just. Torches! Alpha Graves flashed a grin and revealed what he had taken. I had to admire his skill. It seemed that the theft had gone unnoticed. Awesome. Right, so. Back we go. So don't need to hold on to this stuff. We might as well go back, recharge, go around the outside. That would work for me. Oh. So, ship storage. Drop those bad boys off. Let's have a quick rest day. Valentine Butterbolt was in the mood for talking. We spent the evening chatting about various topics and I had the chance to find out a little more about him. Uh, let's find out about their childhood. Butterbolt told me of his favourite childhood meal and how its heavy deep fried smell still brought happy memories. Probably just the oil. You could smell. Deep fried in oil. Cool. I mean, it's pretty close. That'll do. No, no need to waste any more time. The, 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 um... What's the word I'm looking for? Fog! The fog is incoming. Uh, speaking of which, we've got this. Oh. It's out in the blue sea. Shouldn't be too difficult to see. There are teleports it wants us to use. We'll keep going around the outside for the time being. I don't think it's going to be here. We're being pulled into this direction anyway. We're bound to run into other islanders. So let's just use a te what special target. Let's just use it. Bob. Oh, it's a well, you know. Stack stones formed a well-like formation which let out a bright blazing light. I approached the structure curious about what could possibly be down there. Hello! Hello? No. Can't do that when you've got a creaky voice. Don't worry. Standing near the edge, I heard a whispering voice. Was it coming from the well? Hello? I'm climbing inside. Um, yeah, I'll go. Why not? What's down there? Ugh. I always hope for better. Never seem to get it, though. Ooh. Uh, I mean, I don't need anything. I'm going to be completely critical. The, the campsite would be nice. The problem is if we start resting about... <clears throat> excuse me. If we start resting about too much, that fog is going to envelop us and we're going to be buggered. So we'll leave it. We will leave it. Move onwards. Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Bumfly. No, dragonfly. Butterbolt's dragonfly. looks interesting. Uh, again, haven't really got much to trade right now. So, 
What you got? There, dapper. Armoured boots. Not really of much use. Ooh. That is needed, though. I'm looking for keys, you know. Um, What am I going to trade for keys? 20 short. All right. Oh, got one of the things I needed. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Got to steal from you too. Pop, pop, pop. Marbles. How much are marbles worth? Oh. I could always take my... Uh... I could always take my torches back. That's 50 there. 6, 6 is 36. Eh, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Right, this... Uh... Where is it? This. Blue and grey in the middle of the sea. Blue and grey? In the middle of the sea. Oh, and Juby's ready. Well, let's dig for the workshop treasure first. There were traces of impact all around the spot marked on the map. It didn't take long before we found what we were looking for. Uh all right. All right. Fine. Uh what else are we doing? We could zap over there. I mean seeing as we're looking for keys, we should probably have a little bit of a mooch about. Oh, another trader. Before we hit you up though, uh let's do Juby. There is. You got a key too? I mean, it'd be useful. What a guy. Uh, so. It's for those, I guess. Not really anything else. I mean, we could go for a first aid kit or two. Yeah, we're all right. We're all right. Oh, we can't steal, though. All right, that's fine. Right, cool. So we got two of three. Uh, we got two or three? We got two or three. That's cool. Right, uh, I mean, we could probably delve into here. Have a quick look-see. Oh. Right. <laughs> uh, well, let's move on. Uh, let's eat the berries. Uh, I mean, they can't hate us, right? Upon my arrival, an islander informed me that no weapons were allowed inside the village. They offered to bury my weapons nearby so that I can pick them up again when I left. Yeah, why not? They took my weapons. They took my... Like, oh, they gave me shovels? Okay. They took my wevel, uh, wep wevels? They took my weapons and sent them off to be buried somewhere near the village. I could use a shovel to dig them up again once I left the village. The villagers gave me a warm welcome, invited me to freely partake of their hospitality. Right, let's uh, see. Do you have a key? Ah, uh, I thought it was too good to be true. What are you? Gita sandals? Sandals with flat wooden base, elevated up to three teeth. Makes it easier to travel through water and jungle. I mean, that's not too shabby. I mean, what's this? Lodestone, naturally magnetised piece of rare mineral. Helps guide the way. Wow, actually that is useful. What are you? Yeah, you know what? The lodestone's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I like both those. What would we get rid of? Uh, the crucifix because it's rubbish, and probably the sextant.
And we'll take you and you. I mean, how far in are we? Seven standing. Oh, they love us. Uh, what about the cocoa wine? Coffee beans. Might as well just clear them out at this point. We're overburdened. I presume at this point, all that loyalty is like the highest it will be. They love me. They love me. They can have freestanding. That's fine. So, let's sort this out first. So, you can wear the sandals, and you can have the lodestone. Uh, we'll then cook the meat up. Can't use that right now. We won't cook the meat up. Uh, but we'll have a little rest. We unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the islanders at their campfire. Sleep was impossible that night, as some blasted village man kept up a constant off-tune humming of some local song. Uh, we'll ignore it. I twisted and turned. I groaned and tried stuffing cloth in my ears to block out that melody. All in vain. The night was lost. Thirty nine. Need to rest again. I told the team to unpack our things and prepare for the night. I regaled the villagers with stories of my travels so far. Intrigued, a nearby hunter asked me if my homeland was superior to their village. No, uh, they can have it. I told the villagers that I preferred being close to nature and that I admired their way of life. They were visibly happy with my answer. Of course they were. Nothing but a brown nose. Now we're going to take a hit to our sanate. Uh, fine, we're good. Uh, oh, we can meet the ruler. What are we going to do with this? Inside, low hanging lanterns lit up the interior and illuminated the ornaments adorning the walls. And other things which I clicked on too quickly. A group of peafowls welcomed me to their village. They wished me a restful stay and asked about the nature of my visit. Uh, we could always ask about the sealed period, I suppose. I asked if the tribe had any knowledge of the Great Sealed Pyramid. Perhaps the locals here knew of a way inside. Ah! Remarkably, the woman I spoke to produced a strange device, giving it to me with a shudder. They wanted nothing to do with such cursed things, and were happy to hand it off. Cool. Well, we might as well steal at this point. Fantastic. Mangoes! Alfie Graves flashed a grin and revealed what he had taken. Cool. I mean, I just want to double check. It seems like I'm going straight there now. Is there anything else I can take? Not really. Not really. I mean, the only other thing I haven't... No, I have. I've done the map as well. We, we're done! That's it! Super quick. I'm going to drag all that this way. Uh, trade's got nothing. We're good. We're good. The Great Palakau Pyramid loomed above me, but its gate remained sealed. A strangely shaped opening hinted that I needed some kind of artifact to open it. How about three of them? A strange numbness shot through me as I stepped inside before quickly fading away. What wonder was this? Do you only need one? And I picked up three any... Ah, oh, whatever. We did it. <laughs> So, not the most profitable of expeditions, that's for sure. However, we've done what we've needed to be done. We've got back in one piece. We've upgraded a few things, got a few interesting uh, ad adornments, shall we say. And we've got 20 tickets. Oh, we've got a grumpy uh, kinetographer. Creates films for fame. Well, we've got already. And some coffee. Always useful. So we have sustainable charging. Gain sanity each time a robot. Yeah, don't like that. Jumble Explorer. We've kind of got the shoes to offset that now. Negotiation. Uh, more money is always welcome. Practical Botany. Not too fussed by that. Fresh Air Fanatic. Let's take more money. 
Mormony. The din and hum of the exposition was nowadays replaced by solemn silence. It is a little bit quieter than it was before we left, that's for sure. Many once dreamed of a grand festival, but this was a failure. Nah, we're doing all right. And we're definitely not a failure as far as this playthrough is going. All is good. And that is how it shall remain for all. Oh, at least till the next episode anyway. So thank you for watching. As always, the like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.